26 years and counting, Scottsdale Conservatory Theater is going strong. We're nationally recognized and this program is the only one of its kind in the state of Arizona. That's the man behind Scottsdale Conservatory Theater, Randy Messersmith. He's nurtured and watched the program grow over the years. It's what we lovingly call actor boot camp. Sorry, I was rude to you earlier. Students are here all day, from 8 in the morning to 6 at night. They take 10 college credits and work with professionals in the field towards their acting career. We came here together, and we're going to leave here together. The goal is to prepare inspiring actors for the professional world of theater. My favorite part about this program is not only the ensemble, but the willingness that the teachers give to work with you. It's so worth it. It gets you used to the what the real world's going to be like. <laughs> It's very demanding, but the program provides the kind of training with classes in stage movement, voice character development to scene study and more. It's all about improving your acting abilities. One of the best things that I've learned from here as far as techniques goes um, is breath. It's really important. Every single class leading up to this point has really helped me not only know my body and my voice, but also how to connect with others. They spend five intensive weeks developing their craft, and by the end, this becomes their stage as they perform the play, The Sparrow. Each actor enters the program with their own dreams. Some want to star on Broadway and others in movies or TV shows, but everyone is here because they're passionate about what they do. I love to entertain. During the journey, they also learn about themselves. What makes a great actor is a great person. Student actors say they enter being good and leave great. And after this, get hired. And that's the focus of the program, is to raise their level of training to the point where um, they're, they're employable. To another wonderful year. I'm Lisa Aquafreda for Maricopa Now.